Hello everybody, this is Kyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'll be reviewing Bandai Figures Zero, Demon Slayer, Saints, Agatsuma, Thunderclap, and Flash Figures. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the packaging first. With Vigor Zeros, they always have very nice packaging for the Demon Slayer line. Uh, it infused with the Japanese traditional vibe. At the same time, it's just really cool looking. Here's the front. We have a window display here with a product image, authenticity sticker. Here's the size, same thing, window display here. Here's the back, more product image and intro. Look at this picture, so sick looking. Um, this is the second Saints figure released by Figures Zero. I have both um, and let me tell you, this is the one that's the better one. And if I am you, and if you're only getting one, I would go with this one versus the, the older version. Um, there's a lot of reasons behind it. So without further ado, let's get a closer look at the figure. Here we have Saints. I got my figure. Saints is my favorite character from the uh, Demon Slayer line. Um, not one of the many, but this is my absolute favorite character. Um, just so much going on with Saints, and you know, um, he seems weak, but once he's in the mode, he is super, super skillful and powerful. Um, all of the characters from Demon Slayer, they all possess different type of uh, techniques. You know, they can they can do different things. Saints being the only character, he only knows one technique and that one technique is one of the most powerful techniques you can ever find because he mastered it you know um so yeah um if a person can do one thing right and do that one thing super awesome i think this person consider being a, a master of you know thunder uh breathing anyways yep here's just the 360 on the character or on the figure once again, Saints is an awesome character. You know, I like his personality. I like the way he looks too. Yellow, um, this whole combination of coloring and matching is just amazing. Now get a closer look. I have to say, Tamashii Nations or, you know, Figure Zero line, it's not the best in terms of uh, QC. Some people might get a little better looking uh, figure. Some people might get some chippy works. Um, yeah, it really, it's a hit and miss. And their po uh, the price point is all right. If you get them fresh uh, from release, they're usually around 70 bucks. I was just anywhere from 70 to 100, depending on the character. However, you just wait a bit, may wait a few months. They usually these figures will go on sale. They're usually like half the price. I got my Saints figure for less than $50 because of the on sale. So yeah, I mean, I don't know how much this is original for, maybe it's 70 bucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, 50 bucks, I think that's brilliant. I think for SH figures, um, not SH figure, figure zero line for the Demon Slayer, in my opinion, they're anywhere around 50 bucks, you know, from 50, maybe 55 bucks. I think if, if it's around that range or cheaper, I think it's worth it. If it's more than that, I think it's overpriced, to be honest, because really, these figures look fantastic from a distance. But they can't really look like closer and closer, get a closer attention because a lot of the uh, crappy work they've done. My figure is not too bad, but when I first opened this figure from the packaging, there's like this excessive oil just all the way like here and there. Like just a lot of different places. I almost thought these are like pain defects, but luckily I was able to, you know, clean it off. But yeah, that wasn't a pleasant opening, you know, when you just get your fresh figure, especially being this is your favorite character from the series. Um, you really want this figure to be near perfect as possible, and you know what I mean? But opening to like a bunch of excessive oil on, you know, the cowley, it's just um, really, really weird. But anyways, um, I still, I find some other here and there hit and miss pain issues with the cowley, you know, these lines, these white, these um, zim lines. Um, and then, yeah, facial expression wise, it's all right. Hair, mine, yeah, there's a little chip right there. You see that? The QC issue is not the best here. There's just a lot of QC issues going on, even with the thunder effect piece. Um, I think the paint app is just a little bit sloppy. Um, but yeah, but overall, I think the overall look of the Saints figure is amazing from all angles. This is a nice poster, you know, just from this angle. 
it looks nice here too it looks nice here it's just like there's from different angles i think it captures saints's most manly and you know powerful look um so i highly recommend this figure there's two um from the figure zero line and out of the two i personally prefer this one a little bit more because first they improve on the lighting effect now it's not as pointy as hard plastic as the previous version that one any chip any dropping any anything you did to that figure these little parts will break and once it's broken, you know, you'll cry <laughs> because your figure will no longer be the perfect figure that that you had when you first opened it. And also that figure, I think the poster, um, it's not one of the best poster to be honest, honest with you. But this one definitely looked the part. Uh, doesn't matter which angle you're looking at, I think the Saints just look amazing. So yeah, here is my quick review of the Saints figure from the Thunderclap and Flash. Um from the uh figure zero bendai tamashi nation's line i'll guess i'll give this figure a 8.5 out of 10 i would have given figured this figure a 9.5 out of 10 if i don't have all those qz issues on my figure but um still i think overall this is a good saints figure to own and um i am happy with it you know um especially with the price i only got it for 50 bucks i think for that price line or for that price that i pay for this figure i think it's all right you know i will accept that kind of qc and all that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye